Hey, my name is Kelly Ward and I'm feeling fearless. Welcome to episode two of my Taylor Swift artwork series. What's that? It's my series I'm doing. Here's how it breaks down. Step one, listen to Taylor Swift albums one by one. Step two, pull out all the visual elements for each song. Step three, take all my findings and illustrate a collage for each album. Step four, rinse and repeat. She has nine albums. It's easy. Okay, so what I said at the top, we are talking Fearless today. Um, Fearless is the most awarded country album ever. Also, at the time, Taylor Swift was the youngest artist to win album of the year at the Grammys. She was 20 years old. I don't think you understand the dumb shit I was doing at 20 years old. And she's winning Grammys. Her and I, we are not the same. Thank you for telling me what I already know. Okay, anyways, I'm gonna be listening to Fearless, Taylor's version because <laughs> Scooter Braun. And I figured that I should mention, for this album and any of the re-recordings, I will be listening to Taylor's version if it's available so I can pull my ideas. But my collages will be revolving around the original tracks. So I'm not adding in any of the vault songs. Maybe I'll do like a vault song collage once all the re-recordings have dropped. But until then, all my pieces will be revolving around the OG tracks, so. Okay, that's enough mumbo jumbo. Let's jump into the track list. We're gonna start things off with Fearless. I'm thinking storm clouds and a dress. For 15, it's gonna have to be something high school related, so I'm thinking a football. Love story, I'm gonna go the prince and princess route and maybe do some crowns. Hey Steven, she wrote him a song, so I'm gonna go with a music note and pencil. White horse, we gotta hit him with the horse head. You belong with me, I'm in between the cheerleader reference or high heels and sneakers, both great. Breathe, Taylor loves a good 2am reference, so a digital clock would work. Tell me why. This one's kind of tricky because it's just about a jerk, so we'll see how this one turns out. You're not sorry. Again, this is a tricky one, so we'll see if it makes the cut. The way I loved you, I'm thinking either rain or maybe a roller coaster. Forever and always. Now stick with me here. Maybe rain? A lot of rain in this album. The best day? Maybe two hearts, like a mom-daughter heart, or an actual calendar change i'm definitely thinking a fist in the air jump then fall she mentions keys maybe like a heart-shaped key or a heart-shaped key and lock untouchable stars and a diamond sky is a reference i don't think we need two forever and always visuals come in with the rain again a lot of rain references in this album be a rain cloud or a window superstar it's got to be a microphone the other side of the door, a door, I guess. I, I don't know how exciting that would be. Closing out the album with Today Was a Fairy Tale, I'm thinking maybe a carriage or some type of a storybook. All right, brainstorm session's over. Let's start designing. This is where I start laying down my base. It takes a lot of tries to get it right, but once I have the base how I want, that's when I'm able to start building the story of my collage. Hi, interruption. I don't know if you've ever seen this in my background, but I feel like it's a good time to address it. I made a cool wall. Oh, you've never heard of a cool wall? That's weird, they're they're super common. My cool wall is where I draw people that who I think are cool and just tape them up here for fun. And I just wanna point out that Taylor Swift is in the one spot. So if you were questioning if I'm a Swifty, it's confirmed, I am. Right now you're seeing the process and how I fit each element into my collages. I put my artwork together like a puzzle, one piece at a time. And my end goal is to make the final product look completely seamless. No start, no finish, just a constant flow of art that keeps your eye moving the entire time. Is it working? Okay, so I'm almost done with the collage. I just have to uh, bring this piece into Photoshop and kind of salt bay in my dot patterns. But I have to say something. So when I build out my collages, I kind of just like write down the different visuals that I hear for each track. And for this video, I kind of just made these for the scene, but they really came in handy when I was putting this together. So pipe cleaners and doodles for the win. Now it's dot pattern time. Here it is, the finished Fearless collage. Um, I tweaked a couple of things, but I like how it turned out. I think it's telling the visual story of the album pretty nicely. I had a, a lot of fun working on this one. Let me take you through it. Okay, for Fearless, we got storm clouds and a dress, a football for 15, two crowns for love story, 
actual sheet music from Hey Steven for Hey Steven? White horse, it's a horse. I went with high heels and sneakers for You Belong With Me. A 2 a.m. digital clock for Breathe. The Way I Love You gets a roller coaster. Rain clouds, it could be for a number of songs. I decided on a calendar with a heart for the best day. A fist in the air for change. I doubled up for Jump Then Fall. I went with a smile and a key heart combo. Untouchable, I decided to go with diamonds. Superstar gets both a microphone and a star. And last but not least, a storybook for Today Was a Fairy Tale. Okay, that's a wrap on episode two of my Taylor Swift art series. If you missed episode one, I'll link it here so you can check out what I did for the debut album. Other than that, thank you so much for watching. And if you enjoyed the video, please feel free to like and subscribe. Okay, bye.